Fish King fans, good morning, good morning. How are how 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 art thou? How art thou being? How art great thou? Kill all that. What's going on, family? Good to hear you for you guys again, man. It's been a minute. It has been a minute, man, and 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 whew, don't worry about the hair. Uh, long week. <laughs> It's been a while, man, but I've been working hard. I have been around the clock. I had a big job that I had to finish up construction-wise, man, and I got finished with it. It turned out to be beautiful. And so now I got time to get back out here on this water and do what I do best, and that's keep some tight lines. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good, man. I hope everybody's staying blessed, staying COVID-free, but most of all, keeping them lines tight at all times, man. I thank you guys so much. Uh, if this is your first time checking out this video, please like and subscribe, man. Uh, I, I really thank God for all of you guys that check us out and just view our content, man. It means so much from the heart. As always, I thank you guys. You guys are awesome, man. But today, we're back out here on the water. We're going for trout. Shoot me. I said fresh water, but we're going for trout today, all right? Because it's something about the thump, man. I just... And when, when, when the thump comes, and then the bait start twerking. That's how the bait twerk. Watch it. Mm, 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 mm. When the bait start twerking, it entices the fish and the fish just, it drives them crazy. Nonetheless, we in a backwater creek. We're heading way up the creek, man. Um, when I, well, not down creek, but up creek into the small canals because the, the, the weather, the temperature has, has been up a little bit, man. So we are uh, heading back up the creek. Good. All hard baits today. I got one soft bait, which is the voodoo, but I'm trying to do all hard baits today. But nonetheless, uh, water, the ambient temperature right now is about, I think it's supposed to, it's probably about 40 degrees right now, but it's supposed to get up to the upper 60s, so the well, lower 60s. But nonetheless, the water temp right now is 53 degrees. Uh, so it's the water's warmed up quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure they're starting to pan out a little bit. They may not be bunched up together because the water temperature is at 53. They may be dispersing out a little bit, but nonetheless, it's gonna make them a whole lot more active. So with all enough with the chick chat, man. Let's go to work. <laughs> Don't work it. Let's just go to work. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Oh, man. Guys, so I think I'm hooked on with a nice red. If I got to guess, that's a red. Yeah, I was coming through this creek and I was actually noticing. I was like, man, I see. I think he's foul hooked too. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a foul hook. What is that? Is it a red? It was a trout. What is that? It's a gar. Yeah, it's a gar. <laughs> oh, that's a blackfish. Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, fire hook the blackfish, huh? Wow. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, I, uh, come here. Cut it out. Good old little small blackfish. Nothing major. So, let them go. Shoot. Well, I thought it was a red. <laughs> I did think it was a red, but it wasn't a red. It was a little blackfish. So, but good excitement though, nonetheless. Let's go do it again. Well, we're starting to get a little bit of wind now, about 10 miles an hour, five to 10 miles an hour, but it's a soft, real subtle wind, man. We have to anchor in a minute. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, man, dude, I missed him. Oh, wow. That's got to be small. They probably spikes, man. A little small trout. For those, of you, for those of you that don't know, we call we call small trout here in NC, we call them spikes. Oh, my God, man, what the crap? Yeah, they, yeah, they, these are small ones. These are small ones. They got to be because they're, they're tapping it. They're hitting it. But nothing more. Either way, there he is. Yeah, it's a small one. See, these are they're, they're, these feel like yeah, these feel like spikes over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, little old spikes. He didn't go off that voodoo though. <laughs> Get out of here. Go tell your sister, your mama, I'm looking for him. Yeah, I figured the way that was hidden, man. I was like, yeah, these have to be spikes, dude. They can't. They don't have too much size to them, but that's, that's, it's a good thing. Like I said, the water temp's up to 56 now. These fish are starting to move out a little bit, starting to get a little bit active, so. 
Now, trout, on the other hand, unlike puppy drum, um, two out of ten normally. <laughs> if you you fishing, if you're fishing and you're catching spikes, that's all you're gonna catch is spikes. You may, oh man, you may get lucky, and you may get a nice one. You may, and I said a nice one. He may be right at 14, 15, but it's rare. Oh man, dude, it's rare that I just get one, just a huge one out of spikes. That ain't saying it can't happen, but it's rare. Normally when I'm fishing, spikes, man, it's like, they, it's all spikes. Nothing less, nothing more, all spikes. And normally spikes hit like that. So I'm gonna stay here for a few more minutes and then see if I can't go find some, there he is, bigger fish. Yeah, they're all spikes. There, well thank you buddy. You okay with me, cuz? You all right with me, cuz? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's another spike. Yeah. Another, oh yeah, another spike. See, they all spikes here. Let's see if we can't move. There he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. What else we got? Let's see. Oh man, it's a red. Oh man, a little red. Yeah. A little old red. Maybe. This size red. Small one, but it's a red. So so what I did was I was uh that forgot the towel. I, I was throwing the uh, MR-17, trying to be quiet, I got people around here. I was throwing the MR-17, but that wasn't working, so I decided to switch up because of the, where I was in location. Um, let's put this up. Okay. Uh, where I was in location, so I switched up to the, to the Voodoo. Um, and I'm dragging across the bottom because I know there is oysters down here at the bottom. So uh, normally, wherever there's oysters, there'll be life. Spepa trout, uh, puppy drum, flounder. Oh, that was a hit right there, I think. Maybe we can get us a nice slot out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, all right. That's a good, that's a better one. That's a better one, guys. That, that one may be a slot. Oh man, he may be a slot. <laughs> yeah, he may just be a slot, guys. He knew I snatched that out of my hand. Yeah, he may be a better one. Oh man, oh yeah. It's a better one for sure. Don't know if he's gonna be a slot size. But got my neck this time too. <laughs> so you guys can't fuss me out. <laughs> He, now he may, we'll see. He may, he may go. He may go, guys. Oh, come on, man. Cut it out so I can get you out of here, dude. Jesus. All right, got it off. Man. I don't think he's going to go 18 or 22. He is, well, he's right at 17 and a half, so... 17 and a half, um, it's not big enough, but you know, not a bad fish at all. Whatever. Oh, no. oh, there he is. Nah, he hit that pretty close. Very close, probably another small rig. Oh yeah. With a small rig. So if I've got to guess, guys, these uh these small red are holding in this area. Ah, get on out of there. Perfect hook set, by the way. So maybe a good 14, 15 inch. You know, let's say if you've got a ratio of two to ten as far as being small to big. 
two big fish out of two big fish out of every ten small fish. Um, I'm pretty sure in the midst up here, it's probably a good keeper, maybe one, maybe two. It's just getting through the small ones. Um, like that last one I caught, he was almost 18 inches, and slot size is 18 to 27. But uh, chances are favorable that you know we should we'll be able to pick a nice size one out of here if he's willing to bite. And this Lawrence man, I'm telling you, I love this thing. This this is the ticket, bro. <laughs> right now I've got dual, Im well I got split imaging. I got uh, I've got down scan imaging. And I've got trip set up. I like to be able to tell the difference between the two. You know, some some things DSI will pick up and some are uh, better. Some things triple pick up better. It just depends. I put both of them side by side. Still trying to get the hang of that side scan image. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. But right now I'm used to chirp and uh, down scan, so that's what I'm using today. I'll tell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, man, he hit right at the boat. Wait, don't you turn me that way. Come here. Get out. Come back out. Come back out. Come back here. Oh, he's got a little bit better size on it, it feels like. I tell you, that's this water's pretty clear, man. <laughs> Check him out. Oh, look at that beautiful blue tail, man. So can give you guys a better look. Check out that beautiful tail. Nice. Beautiful blue tail. That's sweet, man. That is sweet. I love the color. Redfish are beautiful, man. <laughs> Redfish are beautiful. I mean, beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that, man. That tail, that is, that's so beautiful, bro. Nice. Another 14 or 13 inch. Winter conditions, the patterns, if, if, if it's very cold and it remains cold, the fish are gonna school up together. It's, I mean, that's, that's just, uh, that's just a given. They're going to school up together. Um, you know, during the uh, times where in the winter time you you may have a week of warm weather. What it's going to do is going to scatter these fish out. They're not going to be bunched up together. They're going to be a little bit more active. That's why, you know, sometimes when you're fishing, it gets hot days, but you go to your best spots. It's like, man, where the fish at? They gone. <laughs> it's because they scattered out, man. Oh, man, man that was a hit there. Uh, they've actually scattered out, so. I'm a firm believer that the, the worst conditions are the best time to catch fish. <laughs> At times where it's 30 degrees below, man, and 30 degrees below, freezing, winds blowing, and I kill them. But then you get a day, beautiful weather, no wind, barely any wind, won't catch a daggone fish. Oh, there he is, as soon as they hit the water. Whoa, 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 okay guys. So that's the one I was talking about. <laughs> I think that's the one I was talking about. Whoa! Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. I think he's the keeper. He's got a little bit of weight on him. Ah, come on here. Come on, Mike, up in here. Yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. I'll tell you, this medium action rod I got. Oh yeah, he's the one. Definitely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Definitely the keeper. He is definitely the one I was talking about, man. Oh, yeah. He's the one, guys. He's the one. He is the one. Get in here, buddy. He is definitely the one I was talking about. <laughs> That's the one. That's the two out of the team. <laughs> so that means there should be one more, right? <sighs> should be one more. That's a nice size. Nice size. Ouch, that hurt. All right, buddy, you want to be stupid. You want to be stupid. Let's go ahead and get off of that. Lift your butt. Now nah, you ain't going to do nothing. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, see. You can do that all you want to, cuz. You still getting your hump point in this. What's the name? God, man, y'all got some of the strongest miles. God, love that thing there, boy. This is a <laughs> love that thing right there, man. That thing gets the job done, buddy. Yeah, it's not fishing if you don't get slime, though. So hey, go figure. He is. He is right at 20, 
23 and a half, close to 24, so he is a perfect slot size. Nice. Yeah, you'll be okay. You'll be okay, guy. <laughs> he is the perfect slot size. Nice. Nice size. Beautiful fish. All right, guys. Good catch. Good catch. Good catch. What's up, guys? Oh, oh runny nose. Forgive me, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Epic day. So so day. Um. Well, it was an okay day. Caught some reds. Caught some small trout. Not any big keeper trout, but he managed to get a. Uh, Managed to get a nice size uh, puppy drum right at about, what they, I think it was what, 27, 26, 24, 26, I, I can't remember how many inches, but it wasn't a lot. <laughs> so I uh, had a good day um, moving around and uh, it was, it was decent. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't crazy crazy, but it was decent. You know, you caught fish, any day you catch fish, you can't really complain about it. But nonetheless, um, today the voodoo seemed to be the ticket. Uh, Water temps were warm. Water temps were, they were warming up drastically. Um, like I said, I think I had 57, 57 degrees. Um, last time I came, it was in the, I think it was like lower 50s, if not lower uh, upper 40s. But when the water begins to, to, to warm up, man, I tend to love to use soft plastics, man. I don't really love to use hard baits, but as the water temp, you know, warms up, uh, soft plastics all the way to go. So that's what I use. Um, and just like today, the Voodoo was the ultimate champion. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, I'm getting ready to head in now, um, get this fish clean, and probably gonna smoke them. It's gonna be real good, real good, real good. Um, next time I go tomorrow, uh, probably, I'm thinking about heading out tomorrow, I'm gonna do some freshwater fishing. Uh, Shad are running full fledged now, and also crappy are beginning to, you know, get, 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 get. Well, it's a time of the year where I love to target crappy, and um, so I'm gonna be probably doing some freshwater fishing tomorrow. Uh, but nonetheless, I thank you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys for, as always, checking us out, being great, being wonderful like you guys are, man. To God be the glory. Uh, you guys stay blessed, man. And if this is your first time checking out our videos, please like and subscribe and embark with us on this journey, this great journey as as, as, as kings. We just fish and, and we just love to just, 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 we're just so fortunate and so blessed to be able to fish and this the creation that God has brought for us and just allowing us to use and allowing us to benefit from every day, man. It's really a blessing. I thank God every day for his goodness and his glory. And I pray you guys do the same thing. I also pray that God will continue to bless you guys man in every way shape and form and you know i pray that you guys stay covid safe i pray that you guys just continue the good fight of faith man stay strong stay strong stay pushing guys stay pushing there's always somebody that has it worse than you be thankful for what you got always man be thankful for what you got and in the midst of all things have faith you know we don't uh we don't, we don't, we might not have everything we want, but to God be the glory for what we do have, you know. Uh, nonetheless, during the process, you guys stay cool, stay. Uh, happy. That's all I have. <laughs> you guys stay good, man. Look, I'm gonna head on out. I'm gonna get out of here, man. Uh, find me something to eat. Till next time, Fish Kings, tight lines. Stay blessed, people. Peace out.